The American people know that if you head to the airport, you want to jump on a flight here in the United States, you bring a valid form of ID. I always use my Montana driver's license. I imagine some of you, maybe it's even happened to yourself, you show up at the airport, you run a little late, might have forgotten an ID back home. You don't try to enter through TSA to get to the terminal because you know you'll be turned back without a valid form of ID. This is an actual sign that's popped up at the Delta terminal at the Miami airport. Instructions for illegals to use their CBP-1 app, that's the Customs Border Patrol app at TSA checkpoints, as a valid form of ID to board a plane in the United States. For those who don't know, the CBP-1 app provides appointments for migrants who are claiming asylum at the border. Migrants, particularly those wanted for crimes, can fill in any basic information they want in the app and be let into the country. The goal was to, and I quote, validate adult non-U.S. citizen travel documentation when the traveler does not otherwise have an acceptable form of identification. However, it also notes that photos are optional. It says that multiple times. It says it can provide biographical information if requested, but notes that information is not stored, again, multiple times. How is this even serious? Illegals coming to the United States from countries that are designated state sponsors of terror and on terror watch lists can use this process. Americans, think about this for a moment. We, as Americans, are going to be forced to acquire a real ID by May of 2025, or you or anybody else here, myself, will be barred from boarding a flight in the United States. How in the world can we justify this? when illegal immigrants are allowed to board planes with unverifiable information they filled out on an app. The administration, the Senate Democrats, say they are concerned about the southern border, but their actions prove otherwise it's time to get serious.